Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we will be learning how you can take multiple screenshots using 10 simple lines of python code. So let's get started. So now I am in my desktop and I will quickly jump onto my text editor visual studio code. You can use any text editor you want. So right here this is the code that we would be writing and uh, so basically we are creating a graphical user interface or a GUI for this project. So I am going to show you how it works first. So as you, as you can see this sort of uh, uh, window will open up. If you click this take screenshot button it will prompt you to uh, tell it where you have to save it. I am going to name it screenshot and I will uh, save it in my desktop. So as you can see screenshot.png right here and this is the file, uh, this is the photo that was captured by PyAutoGui. So in this project we are going to be using three main and uh, really, really important libraries. So the first one would be PyAutoGui, the second one would be tkinter and the third one would be file dialog. So I am going to guide you uh, through the whole uh, step by step coding process. So the first one would be we have to import PyAutoGui, the second one would be we have to import tkinter as tk and after you have done that you uh, from tkinter so from tkinter you have to import a library named file dialog file dialog so these are the three really important libraries that we need for this project then i am simply going to specify a root so root would be tk dot uh, tk and then a set of parentheses and after that uh, we are going to specify a canvas so i am going to specify a variable named canvas canvas1 so uh, i am going to be using uh, tkinter's uh, inbuilt library named canvas so yeah the canvas uh, library and uh, we have to specify three things here so the first thing you have to specify is root then we have to specify the width of the uh, canvas i am going to be going with 300 you can uh, go with any width then there would be height so the height i'm going to be going with 300 too so i wanted a square of 300 by 300 and uh, i've specified root so after you've done that you just have to pack canvas one so canvas one dot pack and then set a parenthesis then uh, we i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to create a function named take screenshot so the name of the function would be take screenshot and I'm gonna tell PyAutoGui how to take the screenshot right here. So in def take screenshot, I am gonna specify a variable named my screenshot. So that would be my screenshot would be equals to PyAutoGui dot screenshot. So PyAutoGui offers a pre-built inbuilt package named screenshot that helps us take uh, screenshots of uh, the desktop. So after you've done that, you just have to, uh, I'm gonna indent the file. Then I'm gonna create another variable named file path where I'm gonna save the file path that is input, uh, that has been input by the user. So I'm gonna specify file dialog. And right here, I'm gonna go with ask save file name. And then default extension. So the default extension. So the default extension that I am going to be using would be PNG. So I am going to specify it for PNG. Yeah. So after that is done, you just have to go ahead and write my screenshot dot save in the path that was specified by the user. That is file path. So that would be file path. Yeah. So that's it. And after you're done that, you just have to come out of the uh, indent of uh, that function and you're going to create an, a button. So uh, the button would be my button and the then there would be my button is equals to tk dot button and then text is equals to take screenshot. So the text in the button would be uh, naming as uh, take screenshot. Then I'm just gonna indent this and I'm gonna specify the command. So when I press that button, what command do I have to execute? So the command that I have to execute would be take screenshot. So it would be the take screenshot command and then I'm gonna specify the background color. So the background color would be green and the foreground color, so the FG would be white. 
and uh, then I have to specify the font size. So the font size that I'm going to uh, be specifying. So the font is equals to the font size would be 10 in my case. So 10 is the font size and then I'm going just going to close this bracket. So after you've done that, you just have to uh, uh, get out of this indent. And I'm going to go right here. I'm gonna get out of all these indents and I'm just gonna write canvas one dot create uh, so window I'm gonna create a new window and the dimensions would be 150 comma 150 comma window is equals to and my button my button and then after that the last line would be you have to just specify root dot main loop you have to specify the main loop main loop and that's it that's the whole code we need for this project and I'm just gonna run the file through the terminal and if we go on my desktop as you can see this window was uh, opened up I'm gonna again go and take screenshot and I'm gonna name it screenshot one so as you can see screenshot dot one right here and this was the screenshot that was taken by Pi Auto Kui. So uh, now uh, if you like this video please smash the like button down there and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.